guys, so today we're going to be building an S6963 uh, Go Rail Heritage Unit SD60E in Minecraft. Now this is a request by Wide World of Abdullah's Trains, so shout out to him for making the train tutorial possible. And yeah, let's get started right now. So uh, we're going to need a few blocks to start off. We're going to need the nether brick stairs, lime concrete, KCF and skate, black concrete and that's it actually um yeah let's go so uh once you got all that we're gonna add three other brick stairs on the ground with upside down ones on the sides like that and uh let's an acacia fence gate in the middle and from behind we're just gonna open it quickly and let's add two lime concrete on the sides and one behind it and, uh, let me see how many blocks is that. It's 33 blocks long, so we're going to add 31 blocks. So that's, like, 31 blocks of black concrete. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yeah. Alright, uh, now we're actually going to replace the 31st block here with the Nikesha Friends Gate, and from the front we're going to open it. So just replace the very last block, and yeah. Now after that, we're going to add three black concrete on the bottom, and two on either sides. Upside down, nether brick stairs on either sides of that. And, uh... Let's add black concrete underneath and some on the sides. Let's do the same thing over here as well. And this lime concrete here is actually not going to be visible in this area. Only from right here to cover up the hole. So that actually works out nice. And it's a good thing I started doing this detail here. Anyway, uh, yeah. Now we're going to add two on the top here on both sides of black concrete and uh, this is the little secondary wall of the pilot um, let's just add some upside down another brick stairs and make them face into the middle like that and uh, yeah now that we've finished that let's also grab the nether brick wall let's add another brick wall black concrete, two nether brick walls, black concrete, two nether brick walls, black concrete, and another brick wall. Now we're going to do that again on the other side. And we're going to do the same thing on the back now. Or basically on the other side of this now. If you did it on the back already, then we can just do it on the front. It actually doesn't matter where you start off with, and usually it doesn't, um, but still try to keep up with whichever directions I'm doing anyway, because there might be trains where it's different, and I believe it's happened before. So yeah. Anyway, let's grab the black concrete, and let's fill in the middle here with it, and we're actually going to count how many it is, because, uh, we want to make sure if it's right or not. So, I just got to count how many it actually is, first of all some reason I didn't count first. And it is nine blocks, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It should be nine blocks in the middle here. In between these fence gates. And now here, we're gonna fill in the very middle with black concrete. And if you don't, if you're too lazy to, which if you're using this for an animation and it flips upside down or something like that, you might want this to be covered up, or if you look underneath the anvils or something. But if you are lazy, at least do the sides. They're the most visible parts. Anyway, now, now that we've got that done, and I'm not going to disclaimer that every video. Just keep that in mind. I'm only doing it this video. Anyway, um, we're just going to fill uh, the bottom in with upside down now the brick stairs. And, uh, yeah, now let's, uh, we gotta do the wheels, 
and finish the fuel tank. Why don't we do the wheels first? Get the most complicated thing over with. And then, uh, once we finish, uh, the pilots and stuff, and stuff, we're just gonna do the debug stick details. So, yeah, let's, uh, get moving. So, let's grab the gray concrete, dark oak fence gate, another brick slab, another brick wall, hopper, and, uh, dark oak trap door. And that's it, actually. So... First, we're going to add gray concrete in these pillars here, um, so they look like this. And in between, we're going to add some upper and nether brick slabs as well. And then in between all of this, we're going to add dark oak front skates as well. Um, well now that we've finished that part, we can now add the hoppers on the gray concrete, so let's do that quickly. We could before, but, uh, it's better to finish, uh, those parts first before moving on. Uh, now let's add another brick slabs in this pattern. It's really hard to describe, but in between all of the hoppers and other stuff, we're going to add upper nether brick slabs. And above all the hoppers, we're going to add more hop- I mean, nether brick slabs. Like that. Uh, yeah. That's it. <clears throat> and let's do that on the other side, too. Uh... Now let's add, uh, the nether brick wall details first. There's a lot of them, so, uh, let me just find all the spots. Oh, there's also a nether brick slab one, too. There's a lot of detail, but we'll start off with nether brick wall. So first, let's start on the left side. Locate the middle axle here. Now let's go behind it here and add a nether brick wall. Now let's go to the le left back side. And we're going to do the symmetrical thing, but, it, like, it's not going to go behind, it's going to go in front here. So it looks like that. Now, on the right side, we're going to add one right in front of this front axle, and one behind the middle axle. And, uh, now on the right front side, we're going to add one behind the front, I mean, one behind the middle axle, and one behind the end axle. It's hard to describe all of that, but, uh, it should look like this. Um, now let's do the nether brick slab detail, since there's only so much that there actually is of this. And it's just right here. We're gonna add an upper nether brick slab right here. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's, uh, Let's do the dark oak fence gates now. So, right here, we're gonna add some, and two more right here. And let's add one right there, one here, and one here. Now, on the left side, we're actually only gonna add one right here. And let's add one here, too. Yeah. And now let's add one more, right here, and some on either sides of the front axle there, on the back. Yeah, uh... Now we actually ha might have some stuff to do before we do the debug stick details. Um, there's like any buttons, yeah, I'm, I'm actually not quite sure what we're doing, but we'll do the debug stick details, like, um, when we finish the train. I might actually do it in that order. Usually I would, uh, just, uh, do the debug stick details, um, at the end after we finish the whole train. But recently I've been wanting to just do it as soon as we finish big chunks of something because it's easier. But I think we should just go back to, uh, doing it at the end for this one train because, uh, there's a lot that, um, might need some blocks above change and that will mess with it so we'll have to do it again. So on this one, we'll do it later.
Sure, that was a lot to say, but yeah, that's just what we're gonna do for this one, I guess. Yeah. Okay, now we gotta um, work on this. Let's grab the smooth court slab, dark oak button, acacia fence gate, dark oak fence gate, and oak slab. And let's add a dark oak fence gate in all of these gaps here on the sides, like that. Oh yeah, I've been searching everywhere for that command block. I forgot what it said, but uh, I'm not gonna do it in the video. Um, I'm not gonna show it, but uh, anyway, back to the tutorial. We gotta add some oak slabs in the shape of a stairwell now. Um, just so it looks like this. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> now we also gotta uh, add a smooth court slab up here, so we can add an upper dark oak button there. And this will be a part of the white stripe later, which, like I said, we're gonna do later. That's an open acacia front skate there. I also forgot to grab the nether brick stairs and the acacia button. I actually meant to get the acacia button, but we need this too, so yeah. It's a little efficient. Uh, let's add a sideways acacia fence gate into this, like, another brick wall here. And behind it, let's add an acacia button on the floor here. And, uh, yeah. Now for the last detail. Let's leave two blocks from that acacia button. And add four nether brick stairs. And on the back here, we're gonna add five on the left side. Yeah. And it should stop right where this one is here. Or start, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, uh, there's also something I forgot to do. And we're gonna need the dark oak trapdoor for it. But in all of these gaps here in the wheels, not here, or not here, just in the gaps in the wheels, like there and there. Oh, and here. We're gonna add some dark oak trap doors, like that. So it looks like that. Oh, we forgot one here, too. Yeah. Alright, now let's move on. So, uh, let's grab the smooth quartz slab, nether brick slab, and, uh, that's it for now. We're just gonna add a smooth quartz slab right here, and three nether brick slabs on the top. And now that lime concrete here isn't visible anywhere else now, which is nice. Um, now, uh, after that, let's go to the back, and, uh, we're gonna add a V-shape of smooth quartz slab, but it's gonna stick out like that. And then behind it, we're gonna add a larger V-shape of black concrete. Now, on the right side, we're actually gonna add five smooth quartz slab here from the back. And then we're gonna go row back, and we're actually gonna grab the smooth quartz block, but, uh, we're just gonna add a smooth quartz block behind here and make it so that it goes here. Locate this nether brick wall here. Right here, let's add a smooth quartz block. And let's just fill this whole thing in with it. And uh, let's add some upper nether brick slabs all the way up here. And uh, yeah, now let's move on to some more stuff. So let's do the fence here on the pilot. So let's grab the nether brick fence, oak fence, oak fence gate, and the chain. And, uh, yeah, that's it, I think. Oh no, we need a nether brick wall. And let's add nether brick walls on the sides here, on the back, with nether brick fences above. And now let's add a pattern that looks like this with the oak fence, and let's grab the yellow carpet too, and first let's add five oak fences, or three right here, my bad, with the yellow carpet above, and let's add some oak fence gates, 
right here. And a chain in between here. And uh, now for the front, we're just going to add another brick fences here with a chain in the middle. Now let's add oak fences on the sides. And two oak fences down here. One up here. Now let's add just two on the sides here like that. You know what else we're gonna do? Let's grab the chain, and right here, we're gonna add a chain, and add another above, and then remove the bottom one there. So it's just right here, like that. Um, all right, we should get working on this now. Um, but first we're gonna grab the nether brick slab, and above these two oak fence gates, let's add nether brick slabs. With the smooth quartz slab, let's add one right above that nether brick slab there. And let's fill this whole stripe in here with smooth quartz slab. Connecting everything here. And that's what it should look like. Um, okay. Now let's grab the black concrete smooth quartz slab. Hmm, I must have been lazy to get the block. Oh well, let's get the smooth quartz block. Yeah. And let's grab the nether brick stairs, and the polished blackstone bricks too. <clears throat> yeah, and uh... I'm just looking for something, I think I did something, and I want to change it. But I can't quite remember if I did it. Oh wait, okay I remember, it wasn't on this train. And there's nothing to change, so... Let's get started on this part now. So let's add a 2x2 two two of black concrete on either sides. Let's add two smooth quartz blocks in the middle here. Let's add three black concrete on the sides. And let's add uh, two black concrete going back on both sides. And three on the top. On either side we're going to do another brick stairs and uh let's add a black concrete two polished blackstone bricks and black concrete again and let's also add a two by four black concrete up here and meanwhile on the left side we're gonna add black polished blackstone stairs and four black concrete going back and then another 2x4 of black concrete right here. Now let's add three black concrete right here as well. With the uh, black concrete right here as well. So in the back as well. And let's just quickly fill in this 3x3 three three floor in with black concrete too. And, uh, yeah. And now let's go diagonal up here. And add another 3x3 three three up here. And, oops, uh, let's grab the lime concrete and add 3 up here as well. And let's add some prismarine stairs on the sides. Four of them. And, uh, yeah. That's supposed to be lime green, but there isn't really a good shade for that, so I just used prismarine. And yeah, now let's grab the black carpet and add one in the middle there. <clears throat> yeah, now let's move on to some more blocks. Let's grab the gray stained glass pane and gray stained glass and black carpet. And let's fill this little hole here with the 2x3 of black concrete behind there. Let's add two gray stained glass blocks on either sides. With two behind here as well. Uh, yeah. Now that we got that done, let's also, uh, let's do some details now. Uh, just a second, guys.
Alright, so, uh, now let's grab the dark oak button, daylight detector, dark oak trap door, birch sign, and birch button, and, uh, yeah. Okay, since we have a lot of empty in inventory space, let's also grab the birch fence gate, and, uh, yeah. Now let's grab the birch sign. And let's add one down here with a dark oak button on both sides there and four birch buttons up here let's add birch sign there and two back here and on the left side let's add a birch sign here and right here let's add three more let's add four birch buttons up here as well Let's add two birch signs here, and one here. Let's add some dark oak trap doors on the sides, and two up here. Let's add three daylight detectors here, and right click them, and three here too. Let's add dark oak buttons on the sides here, and two sideways ones right there as well. Oh, and I forgot one there too. Now let's add a birch button right here. And let's add a birch sign here. Press enter and type in 6963. That would be the number play of the train that shows the unit number of the train. Now let's also add 6963 or the same sign on the other side. And in between let's add an open birch front skate for the lights. And now there's uh, more details you gotta do. So let's do these details right here and here. And let's also uh, let's do the banners. And then maybe I'll consider doing the debug stick details. And we'll do the interior. Yeah. Alright, so first let's do this here. Let's grab the birch button, tripwire hook, dark oak slab, and dark oak front skate. And for the back, we're also going to add another brick slab and the dark oak button. And, uh, let's start with the back, just because. Uh, let's add another brick slab right here. The sideways dark oak fence gate underneath. Let's add open ones on the sides. Let's add trip bar hooks on the sides here with dark oak buttons on the sides of that. And, uh, now here we're going to add a dark oak slab. And this is actually some strings, I think, for air brakes or something. I don't know. But I'm going to call them strings from now on. Well, actually, okay, we'll just, uh, never mind. I'll just call them. I don't, I don't know what I'll call them, but I'm not going to call them strings. Anyway, we're going to add sideways uh, dark oak fence gate here. With open ones on the sides. Let's add trip bar hooks on the sides here. Birch buttons on the sides of that. Now let's do the banners, which uh credit to Crafty Fox for those. Um it's always uh Crafty Fox with the NS banners. Um I don't think I actually ever credit him credited Oh my goodness, credited him for that. Uh so yeah, credit to Crafty Fox for uh the banners. I never credited him for that, as I said. Yeah, anyway, um, let's grab three black banners, a white banner, uh, let's grab, how many black dye would that be, uh, four black dye, because we have to, have to add two here and two here. And one. And ten white dye. Oh, let's also do the door banner, which will be another banner, a gray banner. And two more black dye. So, we're gonna need the loom. Three black banners. A white banner. A gray banner. Six black dye. And ten white dye. Now, uh, let's go on the loom. And let's put the three black banners in 
and nine white dye in the slot. So we're gonna add a white base. Hold shift and click it, or select all of them if you're not on computer. Or now we're gonna do the same thing, but with the white chief. So it looks like that. And let's add a white uh fess, which looks like that. If we did this, it would actually be a Z, and this would make it an S. That no, that that looks like an S. Okay, this is not uh how to make a letter banners this is how to um, make an ns train and this is the ns banner but for some reason i got carried away all right so now we're going to select all of that and it should look like a little black and white stripe here now let's put two of them in the slot and leave one and put two black down the slot and we're going to add a black per bend sinister inverted here on one of them and on the other, we're going to add a per bend inverted. And now we're going to add the little horse on the logo. So we're going to add the white banner, two black dye in the slot. And we're going to add a um, black bend sinister, I think. Yeah. And then we're going to add a black lozenge which is in the shape of a diamond in the middle. Now we're going to grab the white die and add a white border. Now for the door banner, we're going to add the gray banner and our last two black die which should be the last items to make banners remaining. Let's add the black border. Now let's add the black perfess inverted. Finally, I uh I'm going to say, I hate making banners, they take forever, but now that it's done, um, let's, uh, add, uh, the little horse here, like, for the, this banner here, the white banner for the horse, in the middle here, two of these striped banners on the sides, and let's add this one with the black in the corner there on the le right side and on the left we're gonna add the same thing but it's gonna be the opposite direction so it's like that make sure it looks like that now with the gray banner our door banner we're gonna add it on both sides and oh for a second I thought that was a train it's just an airplane which is gonna be very annoying um Anyway, let's, uh, we got the banners done in this. Let's, uh, what was I going to do now? Uh, oh yeah, I was going to do the debug stick details. Now, before we do that, we'll actually do the interior cab, like the interior of the cab. So let's grab the lever, stone button, another brick stairs, and dark oak fence gate. And let's go in here, and let's add two nether brick stairs here, with a dark oak fence gate opened, so it's like little, uh, armrests here. <clears throat> and let's add stone buttons, and a triangle shape, with a lever down here, and one up here. And let's add another triangle shape of stone buttons, with a lever right there. And it went kind of fast, but it, once you're done, it's really simple, and it should look like that. Well, now that that's done, uh, let's work on the debug stick details now. So, we're going to grab the stone button, dark oak button, birch button, oak button, uh, what else do we need? Uh, that's it, I believe. And we're also going to add this light here, so let's grab the smooth quartz block item frame. And since we've already got the block, we just need to grab the debug stick itself. So, let's, uh, if you're not using the debug stick, we're going to do the non-debug stick details. So let's add item frames here, smooth quartz blocks in them. And on the back, we're going to do that on the nether brick walls. And if you're using the debug stick, type in the chat, slash give, and there's two options you can do. 
can either do add s to give it to yourself or you can type in your username to do it to yourself um, I'm gonna type in my username just because corrupted too and now we're gonna type in debug and press tab and it should be debug stick now after that we're gonna um, add the birch buttons in the lights here the these are lights by the way um, and once you added them to the lights um, we're gonna do the wheels now with it so uh, first thing we're gonna do is add the wheels um, details so for the front and back slabs here and all the hoppers like for the slabs above the hoppers the front and back ones and all the hoppers are gonna have dark oak buttons so leave the middle one here alone um, that's actually gonna, this one's gonna have an oak button later, but right now we're just gonna do these ones, the dark oak buttons. We're gonna do that in every set of wheels. Just like this. Even on the other side, too. In every corner. Every corner. Now that we got that done, uh, what are we gonna do now? Uh, let's grab the stone button, and on the right side, on the front, this very front dark oak fence gate is gonna have a stone button. This, uh, another brick wall is gonna have a birch button. And this uh, dark oak fence gate and this slab here in the middle is going to have an oak button like that. Alright, now uh, on these two uh, dark, I mean, yeah, dark oak fence gates, we're going to add oak buttons like that. Yeah, sorry I've been getting silent. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, but anyway, this uh, dark oak fence gate is going to have this stone button, like that. And uh, that should be it um, for the debug stick details, finally. Uh, now we can move on, uh, since we've done everything now. So, uh, first let's add three black concrete down here. And three up here as well. And let's do a 2x3 of it right here. And one up here. Let's add two up here as well. And let's add a 3x4 of it now. And two on the back here. And I'm sorry that was a bit complicated, but once you got this shape, um, let's grab the bedrock. And let's add two bedrock here. And three up here. And let's add, uh, let's add five up here on the top. Now we can fill in this whole middle row with black concrete now. And on the left side, we're actually going to make it symmetrical with the black concrete, kind of, except we're going to fill that in. In fact, we're going to fill in that whole row in here with the black concrete. Let's do that there too. Yeah. Just down here. Now, uh, we can add this shape here. So let's add a row here. Two rows. Then just a 3x3. Three three, and a 2x2. Two two, and two up here. Let's fill these blocks in with bedrock as well. 
We can also fill in the rest of this top row with black concrete. And now let's add uh, two rows here with black concrete. And let's add two here on the right side and two here with black concrete. And let's fill in all these holes with black concrete in the middle. Because that's going to be the Go Rail logo. Uh, yeah. Now let's work on all the detail. But first let's do the simple stuff. So we're going to add this logo here. And do this little box thing. Then we'll do the details. Move on here. Finish the railing. And all these details and things. And we'll be done. Which is good because I want to be done. Uh... Anyway, let's grab the blue concrete, lime concrete, dark prismarine slab, nether brick wall, black concrete, and nether brick stairs. Now, I went really fast um, telling you to get those items, so I'll give you a moment to get them all. You might want to pause, though, because uh, we got to get back to the tutorial. So, let's add a uh, lime concrete right here and two blue concrete behind it. Let's add a row of lower dark prismarine slabs and one down here. And these are for the railroad tracks. And this is the Go Rail logo. Um. And let's also uh do this too. Um. I mean uh this. Let's do the same thing on this side. Um. So it looks exactly the same. No, I went fast, but that's, uh, fine, because, uh, it, it's just a copy of the other side, so I don't exactly need to instruct that. Um, yeah. Now let's grab the nether brick wall, and let's add two here, two black concrete above, and two nether brick stairs above that. Oh, and let's also add, uh, two nether brick walls here as well. Um, now let's do this, so, up here, so let's grab the black carpet, dark oak trap door, and the dark oak fence gate. Let's add a fence gate right here for the horn, a 2x3 of dark oak trap doors here, one in the middle, and two here. And let's fill this whole section here with black carpet, but leave these three blocks alone, and these three as well. Now before we move on to this part, we're going to do the debug stick details, which there's only one. Um, so let's grab the black button, or black button, uh, the dark oak button, the debug stick, and a block of your choice. I choose black concrete for this. And on those bottom slabs there, just these two here, we're going to add a dark oak button. These three can be left alone, and yeah. Now, uh, let's grab the polished blackstone button, acacia button, birch button, and that's it. And first, we're gonna add a acacia button down here. One right there. And two up here. And let's also add one down here, diagonal from that bedrock. And one diagonal down there as well. And let's add two birch buttons up there. And one up here. And one down there. And now let's grab the dark oak button. And we'll do this later. But let's do this side now. So let's add two acacia buttons up here. And one here. Let's add a polished blackstone button right here, birch button up here, and one over there, and one in the middle there, one down here. And let's add two dark oak buttons right there, and let's add two up here, 
and one there as well. Like a little uh, upside down L shape. Uh, yeah. Now that we got that, um, we can actually, uh, yeah, we can actually fill in this whole area here with dark oak buttons. Even these three blocks, too. But not that area. As for this side, um, we can only fill it all in from this block here, where the acacia button is. Um, uh, here it's certain, so we're gonna add two right there. One down here, and one up here. I should have said it's in a certain pattern. Yeah, that's it. It's in a certain pattern. Um, now we actually got that spot done. So, uh, yeah. Now let's grab the black concrete. Polished black stone bricks. Smooth quartz block. Warped planks. Lime concrete. Warped stairs. Another brick slabs. Another brick stairs. And bedrock. Those are all the important blocks we're gonna need. And, uh, that's what you're gonna wanna get. Um, I'll give you some time to get all that. Um, yeah. Now let's start on the right side. And let's add two black concrete here. Six. Down here. Like six more. Po two polished black stone bricks. And that should be one black concrete at the end. And let's add one more there. And on the left side, um, I'm actually going to add the exact same thing. It's going to be the same thing on this side. Uh, now let's do the next row. Um, let's add a warp stairs on the sides here with the black concrete. Three lime concrete. Four warped planks here. And then black concrete on the sides. And a smooth quartz block right here. Now we're going to add two black concrete up here. And fill in this whole blank spot in here in the middle with bedrock. Now for the outside rows, we're going to add another brick stairs. Right side up there and upside down above. And let's do that over here as well. Um, facing the other direction into the middle. And let's add, I mean, leave three. And add some more right here. Facing toward the front. And on the other side, we're going to do the same thing as well. Now we're going to add some nether brick slabs. Like this. Lower, down there, and upper, up here. So, it's like that. And let's leave two blocks here and add two another brick slabs. Leave a block, add two, a block, add two. And if you leave a block, it should be to this uh, dark oak fence gate. And it should leave four and then go to this mess here. And yeah, that's it. Basically, that's it. Now we just gotta do the details in this area and then we'll do the railing. And that's it. Um. So let's grab the dark oak button, and let's add some in a triangle shape there. And on all the nether brick stuff here, and the bedrock, we're going to add black carpet. And, uh, let's grab the dark oak button, birch button, a warped button, dark oak fence gate, birch sign, birch fence gate, and that's it. Now on these three lime concrete blocks, let's add three warp buttons, and a dark oak fence gate right there. Now let's add two dark oak buttons right here as well. Now let's fill in these last six blocks with birch buttons. And on the left side, we're also going to grab the acacia button and polished blackstone button. Now let's add a polished blackstone button up here. 
Oops, I had two birch buttons down here. Three acacia buttons and two birch. Let's add warp buttons right there as well. Okay, I'm sorry I went so fast, but that's it now. So, uh, we can work on this now. So let's add a open dark open skate right there. And one here. Let's add one up here. Open birch vent skate right there. Now we're gonna add birch signs on both sides. We're gonna press enter and type in 6963 and add the same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna grab all of our four banners here for the NS here on the front and we're gonna implement them on the back. Let's add a white banner right here for the horse. Some stripes on the sides. Let's add one with that. That's like this pattern right here. It's hard to describe. And one on the other side, but the opposite. So it's like that. Now I'm sure I went so fast again, but uh, all we have to do now is the railing. So uh, let's grab the nether brick fence, string, black carpet, nether brick stairs, and dark oak fence. Now, let's start with the right side, because it's the hardest, and then we'll do the left side, because it's easier. So first, let's leave a block and add three nether brick fences, and then we're going to add three dark oak fences right after it, and then four nether brick fences, like this. Now let's leave two blocks and add another four. Let's leave a block and add three. Leave a block, add three. Add three. Leave a block. Add three. Leave a block. Add three. Leave a block. Add two. Leave a block. Add two. And it should leave a block to this pillar here. Let's add string in between all of this. Some string in between all of here. Two in between here. And that should be it. Outside another rook stairs here. One right here, and one on the side here as well. And let's add a black carpet between all of here. It's more here, and black carpet everywhere else. Let's add another another brick stairs here as well. And I'm sorry I went so fast with this part, but uh, that's what it should look like. Now, for the very last part of the train, we're going to go to the left side. And that's just for uh, the railing. And on this side, it's simple. All you really have to do. Oh, we gotta grab the nether brick slab. I forgot to add a slab there. Now let's add another brick stairs here. And down here, we're gonna add two nether brick fences. Block. Add two. Keep leaving a block and just adding two. And they should also be on these slabs. I keep doing that until it's. Right next to these two blocks here. Now let's add string in between all of this. And let's add black carpet everywhere else. Alright, that should be it for the tutorial now. I think we've covered everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed Wide World of Abdullah's Trains. Um, since you're the one who requested this. Um, yeah. That's it for this video. Have a nice day. See you on the next one. Bye.